How are you feeling this morning? I'm glad you came back to see me. You did the right thing. I'm sorry. I think you're mistaking me for someone else. Um, my name's Jenny Welsh. You came to see me yesterday, troubled, in need of help. And I am here to provide it. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I, I shouldn't have used you. Then why are you here? You said you have my keys. Are you afraid? Afraid of the man who defiled you? Don't be. He won't harm you again. I won't allow any man to do that. Think of the spiritual rewards we'll find, Jenny. Here. This man, he's corrupting you. Let me help you. Let me show you the way to true happiness. Um, I'm afraid I can't spare the time. I have to get back to the shop, you see. Um, if I could just have my keys. I have many pupils, you know. And I always quote them a line from the Book of Numbers, chapter 32. Be sure your sin will find you out. There's no need to be embarrassed about discussing sexual matters with me. I'm not embarrassed. Then tell me everything. I had an abortion a few months ago. He forced you. I should have come there. It's all a mistake. Don't go. You have no right. I have every right. I was put on this earth to combat sin. And I shall use every available means to do so. That's a, a breach of a basic Catholic ethic. Only if someone else hears it. So we must make sure that no one else does. What do you mean? We must make sure that your family don't find out about the unborn child you murdered. I don't believe this. Is it so hard to understand? A priest attempting to put his parishioners back on the path of righteousness. My key. You cannot survive without me. Your name Meldrum? Yes. I want a word with you. A church matter? Yeah, that's right, a church matter. Perhaps you could leave it till the morning. What in the world? You're not very friendly, are you? If you wouldn't mind. You know Jenny Welsh? I asked you a question. Yes, I know Jenny Welsh. She tells me you've been upsetting her. Whatever passes between me and my parishioners is our business. It's my business as well, mate. Jenny happens to be a very good friend of mine. We live together and have no secrets. She told me about your tape recorder. Did you say you lived with Miss Welsh? Yeah, that's right. Last two years. Are you shocked, eh? The man who deserted her. The man who forced her to abort your child. You're changing the subject. That won't do, will it? So I'm here to nail you, mate. And I ain't leaving without that tape. Meldrum? Meldrum!
The game's over, Meldrum. from Jesu Christo custodiat animam tuam in vitam eternam. Amen. Corpus Domini nostri Jesu Christi custodiat animam tuam in vitam eternam. Corpus Domini nostri Jesu Christi custodiat animam tuam in vitam eternam. Was there any history of heart trouble? I wouldn't know. Oh, I'll have a word with the husband now. Where is he? Outside? Yes. What are you doing in my house?
Please, I haven't done anything. Bernard knows I'm here. He's going to be coming in a minute. No! No! Father, forgive me. I don't think Mrs. Meldrum will survive a shock like this, Father. Do you? She's growing very weak. I think you ought to administer the last rites. <laughs> 